The mask is held in place by two bayonets. First order of business, the flight briefing. An explanation of the equipment on board and donning what is known as a G-suit. It allows the body to handle the G-forces we feel during flight. Helmet and breathing apparatus in place, my pilot, Captain Jeff Wood, outlines what I can expect. We'll get to about close to 400 knots and we'll just basically stand on its tail and go straight up. Then it's time to go. My nerves are a bit frazzled, but oh, what a thrill to climb into this F-16 fighter Falcon. Pilots affectionately call it the Viper, capable of 1,200 miles an hour. And now, the moment of truth. Ready to go? Get on the string. Ready as I'm going to get. All right. We climb straight into the heavens, up to 18,000 feet. Our destination, 100 miles north of the Bahamas for the ultimate adventure ride. There's four Gs. There's five Gs. What does 5Gs feel like? Well, imagine your body in a giant blood pressure cuff, squeezing you. Slightly uncomfortable, but well worth every climb, roll, spin, and maneuver Captain Wood puts this machine into. And here we go. How about a roll? <laughs> now we take it to the max, pulling 9Gs, the ultimate force against the body. I love showing people what we do. Especially when they're like you, they don't get <laughs> sick. Right about now, I start thinking about my dad. You see, he was a career man in the Air Force. He retired after 27 years, passed away 12 years ago. He loved the service, but could only appreciate the power of these planes from afar. So as I turned and rolled and somersaulted through the air, I realized I was taking this flight not only for myself, but for all of the men and women who have served our country past and present. A huge thanks to all of them. And Dad, this one's for you.